Hey guys, Brian delivers you the goods here. I'm returning to you, I believe, for a premiere video tonight. And this is going to be for the new Sion self-titled album review that I'm going to be reviewing for Jared Dines' uh, independent band or whatever that I'm going to be reviewing for. So I'm going to discuss what I listened to for their debut studio album for... Jared Dines' band, Sion, which features Howard Jones as the singer in this band. And he's the guitarist in the band as well. So, Jared Dines is, I mean to say. So, yeah, I'll let you know what I thought of this album. So, let's dive into this review. Now, I heard The Blade months ago. Like, I think back in March of this year is when it, I believe, came out. Uh, but, yeah, um, The Blade's a pretty good song. I really like it. I wasn't sure if I was feeling for it the first few times listening to it, but it's grown on me quite a lot more, so, very good song. Uh, five out of five for me on that one. Uh, Drown is a pretty outstanding track. There's a little bit of screaming from Howard Jones's uh, vocals. He was the ex- uh, singer of ex-vocalist for Kill Switch Engage, but he, I guess, left the band or got fired. I don't know the full story. I'll have to look into it when I look up Kill Switch Engage again. They have a new singer now. Um, but yeah, Howard Jones is a pretty good singer, too, and good screamer, too. Uh, it just depends on how he screams, of course. If it executes well or not. Uh, more Than Just Myself and Drown are getting 5 out of 5s. I really enjoyed both those songs. Uh, more Than Just Myself just came out two weeks ago as a music video and a single. And then they just dropped Drown as a single. And the rest of the tracks are just regular songs. I like Skyfall. I like the melody to it. it sounds really good. Buried Alive and Wide Awake, very outstanding song. I love the screams from Howard Jones in that track. Sounds really good, and his normal sings, his clean singing is pretty good in it, too. The Worst Way was a really outstanding song. I think most of these songs are bangers, but when you get closer to the end of the album, that's where, when... Howard Jones is screaming a little more. It gets a little too intense and a little excessive in a way to where it doesn't, it kind of gets on your nerves a bit. But in a way, I guess the screams are fine. It just, Dying of the Light had too much screaming in it. Didn't hate the screaming, just was too much and very excessive of a track with the screams but the clean sings are pretty solid so 4.5 out of 5 for dying of the light great deceiver did pretty all right but it's one of my least favorites i think tracks 9 to 11 were my least favorites for this album uh a constant reminder endless war very outstanding songs. I really enjoyed them. 5 out of 5 for both those tracks. And Inside the Hollow was a really nice way to end the album. I really liked the way uh, Howard Jones is singing the song to end this album. Uh, for the closer of this album, I mean to say. So, yeah. Uh, three songs were my least favorites. Something to Live For, Great Deceiver, and Dying of the light one of three of the weakest songs on this album but nine out of 12 tracks were really good in my opinion so production wise mixing and execution this album had its moments where it was executing well and then towards the end of the album or getting very close to the end of the album it got a bit excessive with the screaming from Howard Jones. Uh, just a bit. Not in a way to where I hated it. It just... It was a little ear grating a bit. Just pointing out my honest opinion. But 
this album did uh, definitely was a banger for sure. It's a pretty good album. It's going to be on my best albums of 2021 for sure. So overall, I think Sion's, Jared Dines' band's self-titled album for their debut album that features Howard Jones as the singer was a pretty good listen. Uh, I highly recommend you check this out if you haven't listened to it. Um, maybe you guys might find it to be very enjoyable of an album. It really is. It's a pretty good album. It's only like 45 minutes long, so it's a little over halfway of close to 50 minutes of an album. But, yeah, um, I don't know. I just wasn't feeling for something to live for all the way to Dying of the Light and Great Deceiver. Those tracks were the weakest, in my opinion. Just pointing out my honest opinion. But everything else was very good in this album. So first score, I'm going to give Sion's self-titled album an 8.5 out of 10. This was a pretty good listen. Like I said, highly recommend you check it out if you haven't listened to it. And yeah, I think that's going to be it for this album review for Sion's self-titled album. I'm sorry I didn't do it sooner. I just was busy getting caught up with some movie reviews uh so uh with the new movies that have come out and reviewing them as well so definitely comment below let me know what you guys thought of the Sion album self-titled album the debut studio album for Jared Dines's band if you've heard it he's a YouTuber on YouTube so definitely check out his channel uh, he does a lot of guitar playthroughs and all that. It's pretty cool. And if you enjoyed this, uh, self-titled album by Sion, uh, that I reviewed, uh, for you guys tonight, comment below and let me know your thoughts on it. Tap a like on this video if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you can support the channel. I believe this is gonna premiere at midnight, this video. Um... Or if I decide to, I'll just release it sooner. Uh, but most likely midnight, you'll be seeing this review. Uh, I just wanted to give my honest opinion on what I thought of this album. And I really did enjoy this album. This was really good. I definitely see myself coming back to it a lot. Uh, I gotta see how it holds up for the next 3-4 weeks. Because best albums of 2021 is next month for the end of the year video it's coming out December 28th but yeah you'll be seeing it pretty soon uh, in a month's time that's not that far away uh, but there's gonna be three more albums I'm gonna check out for the end of this year in the month of December and after that I'm done with album reviews for 2021 uh, and then 2022, I'll go back to doing more album reviews for the new year. So definitely stay safe. Take care. I hope you enjoyed the Sion self-titled album review. It is premiering at midnight tonight, I believe so. And as always, I will see you in my next review.